Hello, and welcome to Good News on Tap for the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is John Avila, and I'm an apprentice catechetical leader in the Office of Faith Formation and Youth Ministry. Our Gospel reading today is a very familiar story for many of us, the wedding at Cana. When the hosts of the wedding run out of wine to serve, Jesus turns six stone jars full of water into the finest wine of the evening. St. John the Evangelist writes, Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. John uses the word sign in his gospel to refer to Jesus' miracles, because the function of a sign is to point to something. When I'm driving on Highway 31 to a Notre Dame football game on a fall weekend, I always drive past a road sign on the outskirts of South Bend that says, Notre Dame, 20 miles. Now, when I see that sign, I certainly don't immediately pull over, unload the car, and start grilling hot dogs for a tailgate. The sign is merely pointing me toward a reality, Our Lady's University. And I am always joyful to know that my three-hour journey is almost at an end. In the same way, Jesus' signs through words and deeds are also intended to point us toward a reality, the reality of God's loving presence in the world and in our lives. Jesus didn't turn water into wine just because he felt like doing it, or because he wanted to show off like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat at a third grader's birthday party. Jesus performed this miracle to glorify God and to inspire others to come to believe that he was the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. While the servants realized what Jesus had done, the head servant, or steward, was unaware and asked the bridegroom why he had saved the best wine for the end of the multi-day wedding celebration. After all, as most wedding hosts and students drawn to the more social aspects of college will be able to tell you, it's better to serve the inferior quality wine near the end when no one really cares what it tastes like. However, this is also a sign from Jesus. The grace of Jesus, symbolized by the new wine, has replaced the wine of the old law. Similarly, Jesus transforms our lives from plain, like water, to rich, like a fine wine, and will bring us fulfillment at the end of our earthly lives as we enter the kingdom of God. Near the end of his gospel, John explains to the reader that he recorded Jesus' signs to show that he was the Messiah, the Son of God, and through that belief, we may have life in his name. Through his sign of changing water into wine, Jesus shows the glory of his divinity and the promise of eternal life if we follow him. The wedding at Cana truly is good news on tap.